The most wanted particle in physics is not the dark matter particle. It's the graviton, a quantum of gravity. If we manage to measure it, that would unambiguously prove that Einstein's theory is ultimately wrong and must be replaced by a more complete theory that gives quantum properties to space and time. We thought that measuring this particle was impossible, but I just read in a press release that a physicist has shown it could be possible not only to observe gravitational waves, but also to manipulate them for the first time by stimulated emission and absorption of gravitons and that the experiment could also deliver insights into quantum properties of the gravitational field. It's been published in PRL, which is the top journal in the field. Could this be the breakthrough that we've been waiting for? Let's have a look. An electromagnetic wave is really made of small chunks of energy. Those are the photons. A gravitational wave should similarly be made of small chunks of energy called gravitons. Most physicists believe that gravitons exist because while we don't have a full theory of quantum gravity, we have an approximate one. And that tells us that gravitons should exist. However, it's not a clear-cut argument because gravity is in several regards different from the other interactions. So some physicists think that the idea that gravitational waves are made of gravitons is as idiotic as thinking that water waves are made of waterons. Water is made of water molecules, but you can't find that out by taking a theory of water waves and making it into a quantum theory. This is why measuring gravitons would be such a big thing. For gravitational waves, physicists had very strong theoretical arguments that they had to exist. They're a mathematical consequence of Einstein's theory. Gravitons aren't. The problem with confirming that gravitons exist is that it's incredibly difficult to create and measure them. The author of the new paper now has come up with a clever idea. He says, let's look at gravitational waves from a black hole merger because we can already detect them and those can contain huge amounts of gravitons, if the gravitons exist. Normally, one measures the presence of the gravitational waves with a big interferometer like LIGO. Inside the interferometer, a laser beam runs back and forth in two perpendicular directions. When the gravitational wave passes through, that slightly changes the relative length of the two arms, and that results in a shift of the phases of the light, that's the locations of the crests and troughs. This phase shift shift can then be measured. It's basically a 20-year, billion-dollar effort to show that two mirrors aren't quite where you left them. In the new paper, the author now says, OK, but if the gravitational wave is made of gravitons, there must be another observable consequence, which is that the photons that the laser beam is made of can exchange energy with the gravitons that the gravitational wave is made of. And this energy change should also be measurable. This is what the press release means by manipulating the gravitational wave. Depending on how one times the laser pulses, one can inject energy into the gravitational wave or extract energy from it. And that, the author shows, should be just about measurable with a little more technological effort. Sounds great, but that doesn't prove that the gravitational wave was actually made of gravitons. This is because you can explain the same energy change without saying anything about quantum theory whatsoever. In his paper, the author is very clear about this. So then why does the press release say that this could test the quantum properties of the gravitational field? It's because the author has a more audacious idea. He says, let's first convert the laser beam into a quantum state so that we have a superposition of a large number of photons in one arm and in the other. If this quantum state now interacts with the gravitational wave, that should create an entangled state with the gravitons that the wave is made of. But, and that's the important bit, this can only happen if the gravitational wave can have quantum properties to begin with. Otherwise, this can't work. And I have to admit that this is a really neat idea. If they could pull this off, this guy will win a Nobel Prize. 
There's just one problem. If you take a laser beam and you shoot it at a beam splitter, what you get is basically two weaker laser beams. You don't get the superposition of many photons in one arm and many photons in the other arm. One can create such a state in which the photons essentially act as one, but this is much more difficult than just shooting a laser through a semi-transparent mirror. At the moment, physicists can do this for like five photons at a time. To pull off this experiment, I guess one would need something like 10 to the 30 or so. Yes, a little more technological effort is needed. I give this paper a 2 out of 10 on the bullshit meter. The author is very careful with the calculation. I just think he's somewhat over-optimistic about the experimental prospects. Then again, I am myself a theorist, not an experimentalist. And as such, I have a theory about experimentalists, which is that by and large, they don't care about theories. They just do shit. And that, I think, is how we'll eventually make progress. I read a lot of news to keep you well informed, and I found that the best way to do this is on Ground News, who've been sponsoring this video. Ground News is a news platform that collects and summarizes news which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. Something curious that I noticed recently is, for example, that while news about nuclear power is evenly covered across the political spectrum, news about solar power is predominantly covered on the political left. For each news item, Ground News also gives you a factuality check, tells you who owns the media outlets and where the news has appeared. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum. And of course, I have a special offer for for you, that's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan, which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use my link ground.news/sabina or use the QR code so they'll know I sent you. I really think that Ground News is onto something with their news overview, so go and have a look. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.